What's going on guys? It's Fitness with Flex Hers and today I'm going to teach you how to make a low carb cauliflower pizza, a pizza that tastes just as good without all the carbs. So for this low carb pizza, we're going to need the head of a cauliflower, one egg, mozzarella cheese, pineapple and pepperoni are just my choice of toppings. You can use any toppings you like. A pizza sauce or a tomato sauce. I'm using a low carb sauce. A measuring cup. Oregano. Garlic powder. Parmesan cheese, and I don't have it up there guys, but you're also going to need salt. We're going to use a regular tablespoon just to mix up all of our dry ingredients, and a quarter of a tablespoon to measure our dry ingredients. Alright guys, so you're going to start off by pulling apart the stem of the cauliflower. We only need the top of the cauliflower. Don't be afraid to get in there, use the knife, use your hands, I did both because just using the knife is going to take you a very long time. So once you're done with that, your cauliflower should look like this. Now you're going to start by pulling apart the cauliflower. So you're going to be left with another piece of the stem and that you're going to throw in the trash and you're only going to use the top of the cauliflower. With a knife, you're going to take off any excess piece of stem that you have just to be left with the top. Once you're done giving it a good rinse and making sure your cauliflower is nice and clean, you're either going to put it in a blender or a food processor. Since I only had a blender available, that's what I'm using. But I found that last time that I did the cauliflower pizza using the blender, my cauliflower was getting stuck at the bottom. So to prevent that, I'm going to put a little bit of water in so that my cauliflower could get chopped up evenly. You're going to press the chop button on your blender. You don't want to have a cauliflower smoothie. Just give it a few chops. And if you guys go ahead and Google rice, the cauliflower rice, that's the same consistency that we want the cauliflower to get to. So now you're going to use a strainer to get rid of all that excess water from the blender. I know guys, it's really silly, but I have a very, very small strainer. But it comes in handy because I have small hands and it's easy to manipulate. So with that, you can also use a spoon or your thumbs just to really, really get all that excess water out. All right guys, you're gonna need another clean bowl. You're going to need your measuring cup and you're going to need a small flat plate to use as a cover for your bowl. This is exactly what your cauliflower should look like. Again, very ricey, very grainy. It's going to be very soft. So we're going to start off by measuring four cups of cauliflower. That's exactly enough to make one pie of pizza. Since my measuring cup only goes up to two cups, I'm just gonna do the same process twice. Once I'm done measuring, I'm gonna put it all into that clean bowl. Once you know you have four cups of cauliflower in your bowl, you're going to use your small flat plate as a lid and you're going to pop it in the microwave for four minutes. Now we're going to use a small clean bowl 
to mix up all of our dry ingredients, we're gonna start off by measuring a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. We're also gonna measure a quarter cup of mozzarella cheese. Guys, I suggest that you get the shredded mozzarella cheese because when it's not shredded, it's a little bit hard to calculate. You're gonna measure a quarter tablespoon of salt. A quarter tablespoon of oregano. Now you're just gonna use a regular tablespoon to give it all a good mix. Alright guys, so my cauliflower is done. I want to take it out as soon as possible because I want it to cool down. Be very careful removing the cauliflower from the microwave because it will be very hot. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to use a regular spoon or fork, either one is fine. And I'm just going to move around the cauliflower so that all that heat can get out of there or I could just put it into the freezer for about five minutes and that'll help it tremendously to cool down. All right guys, so to my dry ingredients, I'm also going to add a quarter tablespoon of garlic powder. And just give it a good mix. So once my cauliflower is done cooling down, I'm going to get either a dish a drying cloth or I can do a clean uh, t-shirt that you no longer want to wear and you could just cut out a big uh, square from the back. You're going to place your cauliflower in the center of that cloth because that's going to help you drain and remove all of the excess water that the cauliflower holds. And trust me guys, this is a very, very important step because the first time I did my cauliflower pizza and I skipped this step, I, to my surprise, I got a very wet and soggy pizza right out of the oven. And trust me, guys, it's not enjoyable. So once that's done, your cauliflower should look like this. That's also going to help your cauliflower get into a more of a dough-like consistency. We're going to place the cauliflower into all of our dry ingredients and mozzarella cheese and Parmesan cheese that we just measured. Now it's time for the egg. The egg is really going to help make sure that your um, crust doesn't fall apart in the oven. So now it's time to mix. Make sure that you wash your hands and that they're nice and clean. You can use your hands or you can use a spoon. I like to use my hands because I really want to make sure that everything's mixed up evenly. I feel that the spoon just takes a little bit longer. You're going to now need parchment paper. I have the non-stick kind or you could get the regular parchment paper. Just make sure you have butter or non-stick spray to make sure that your pizza doesn't stick onto the paper. You're going to need a baking pan. You're going to place the parchment paper onto your baking pan. And now you're going to add the cauliflower mixture that we made. We're going to make sure that when we're putting the cauliflower onto the parchment paper that it's contained. It's not You don't want your cauliflower going all over the place because then it's going to be harder for you to build your crust. At this point, you guys also want to preheat your oven at 425 degrees. We're going to start by just pushing into the cauliflower. 
just to start molding our pizza. Make sure that you don't make the pizza too, too thin because then it won't hold the cheese and the sauce. All right guys, so this is what my crust looks like. Now I'm gonna pop it into the oven. I'm gonna leave it in there for about 10 minutes. And this is what your pizza should look like. My pizza took a little bit more than 10 minutes, more like 15 minutes. Everybody's oven works differently. But if you see that it needs a little longer, don't be afraid just to add some more time and make sure that you're checking on it. We're gonna start by adding the sauce. Make sure that you don't pour a lot of the sauce on it. Just be patient, use the spoon. You don't wanna ruin your crust. We're gonna add the cheese. And now we're here gonna add your toppings. I got turkey bacon and pineapple. I love the Hawaiian, so that's the pizza that I'm going for here, guys. I wanted that every single bite that I have has exactly the same pepperoni to pineapple ratio. We're gonna pop it right back into the oven for about five to 10 minutes just to let the cheese melt. There you have it guys, I'm on Instagram, Fitness with Flex Hers, on Twitter, Fit with Flex Hers. Don't forget to check out the website, fitnesswithflex.com. Sign up now to the Fitness with Flex Female Fitness Camp. Join us in one of our two locations, either Glendale, New York or Kew Gardens, New York. We offer weeknight classes, Monday through Thursdays, and if you're too busy during the week, check us out during the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays. The white shirt you get, but the black shirt you earn. Each shirt represents a new fitness level and that you're getting closer to achieving your fitness goals. Can you attain the black shirt? Are you up for the challenge? Get a customized meal plan and a separate customized workout routine for you to do at home or gym. We give seven days a week coaching. You're going to burn body fat, build muscle, and take control of your fitness and health. Come scope your body with our upper and lower body classes. For more information, check out the website fitnesswithflex.com or you can contact us at flex713 at gmail.com or fitnesswithflexers at gmail.com. So we have Samantha here, two weeks into the Fitness with Flex eight week challenge. How do you feel so far? What can you tell the audience about the two weeks that we've experienced here working out? I feel awesome. Um, I feel very, very healthy. Um, the pictures actually are very, very dramatic. The change is only In been just two, two weeks. weeks. Yeah, yeah, only been two weeks.